Um, but I do worry, like, uh, and I, and I, I guess I already mentioned this, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, if I, if I've only reached a handful, then that's enough that makes it worth it. Right. Um, and for a bunch of them, probably a majority, they just don't even, they don't even know what this is that they're reading yet. But, you know, that's partly why I throw it on a website Why I've been archiving them and, um, you know, they'll be there, you know, for as long as my website exists, right? Um, people can go back to them and read them when they need them. If they remember, <laughs> I guess that they <laughs> exist and everything. Um, I think what's funny, one thing that's funny about the letters is I, I think half the people who have been appreciating them aren't students. There are mm -hmm. other, you know, professors or friends or whatever, um, that I've like gone to grad school with or whatever, or, or, or met at a conference like with you. Right. Um, there are people who I think they appreciate them. They recognize that I'm writing to the students, but that's what the label is in, in truth. I'm actually writing to like everyone. Right. I'm writing mm -hmm. to, I'm writing to all my friends and family and everything. Yeah. Um, you know, that part is pretty gratifying too. It's just, it's just knowing that people like you are reading these things and actually getting something out of them too. Um, which is funny because maybe I should just rename it <laughs> like letters <laughs> to friends or something um, or letters of, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing this. Like I keep feeling like I'm running out of things to say. Um, nope. <laughs> and like you know it's a pandemic thing like do I keep doing it after now that the pandemic is not really I mean it's we still have it <laughs> but everything is sort of going back to normal a new normal at least I guess um, like next year we're going to be on campus the whole year probably I mean unless something drastic happens again um i don't know i don't know I, I, I guess i have to remind myself that like the problems don't go away the yeah. pandemic just gave me a a reason to write you know what i mean but like the issues that i try to cut cover are always going to be there um but part of me is just like, well, can't I just like, for any of my new students, can't I just say, here, go read this website? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so I don't have to keep repeating myself over and over. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. I mean, I don't know. I think my, my point was like, I feel like some of them, they should go back and look at some of them because there's some really good stuff in there. Um but at the same time, there's like, like, I don't know. I imagine, well, I imagine it takes a lot of work to do that. So I don't know if that's part of what you're, why you're considering maybe not doing it for. Each letter usually takes me about four hours or so. Wow. Okay. Um, so I usually have an idea for what I want to write. I, I, I write an outline um, and then I sleep on it. And then the next morning, I, I take a few hours and write it. Usually is usually how it works. Um, but up until that point, um, if I see a quote or something like that, or some event has happened, or I've read an interesting news article or something like that, I'll be I'll be like assembling these links and everything, like during the weeks or whatever. And then I'll write an outline and try to remember to include the things that I've um, bookmarked and stuff like that. Um, and then sometimes I hit send and then I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to include this one thing, right? Mm -hmm. So it just gets lost in the ether because it, it becomes not um, um, like relevant anymore to the next letter because the next letter is like three months later. Um, but whatever, it's... <laughs> <laughs> 
and so and it varies right some of them are like you can tell that i spent some time on this because like there's a bunch of links in there or something like that like there i wrote one on um as a response to the, the rise of asian american hate in this country or you know hate crimes and so i included a whole bunch of resources like here's a bunch of things you could do um right so that took a while because of that, because you know i had to vet all those links and everything Mm -hmm. um, but then some of my letters have been like there aren't any links in them at all and some of them are written like a day after something has happened or something like that you know mm -hmm. and that's just good, like you know I just part of it is I don't I don't trust other people in their lives to tell them these things mm -hmm. um and that's the thing and that's another thing that maybe should make me feel better about not many people reading them maybe because the people who who don't need to read them don't need to read them right um they have exactly. support structures in their lives yeah um yeah so this is really you know and i probably should write something soon again because of all the all the shit that's happening in the supreme court right now um but it's also summer so it's like i don't know like <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just relax for the summer or whatever. 